Welcome, Theater Addicts. My name is Danielle Benson. I am here with Kathy Schenkelberg. Did hey. I say it right? Yes, you did. Yes! Yeah. Of Squeeze My Cans, which is playing at the Arts Umbrella, and it is a story of survival of Scientology. So tell me a bit about how the show came to be, Kathy. Well, I was doing spoken word and uh, storytelling in cafes mm. and bars um, after I got out of Scientology mm. and was declared a suppressive person. I thought, you know what? I need to speak out. It was cathartic for me and it was healing. So I did a, a several eight minute pieces in bars and cafes and mm. a friend of mine in New York, a playwright said, you know, you need to really put this together into a piece. So I went back to Chicago where I got into Scientology uh -huh. and because uh, I wanted to workshop it there because I got out of Scientology in LA. So uh, okay. that's kind of kind of how it evolved. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So is this uh, I mean, with with a name like Squeeze My Cans, I'm assuming it's a comedy. No, actually, no, it's not. It, it, ah. it has comedy. It's 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 a dramedy, is how I dramedy. listed it. But you know, um, uh, Scientology. If you don't know anything about it, there are uh, they use a lie detector. It's called an e meter, and and connected to the e meter are two metal cans, and they're connected by a wire. Right. So that electricity flows through the wires. So I was having, I'm with William Morris Endeavor in LA, and uh -huh. I was having dinner with him and my agent, and I said, Eric, I need to figure out a name for the show. And he said, squeeze my cans. <laughs> so I immediately went on GoDaddy and bought it. <laughs> because it's a, it's poking the bear. I mean, God yeah. knows, Scientology is ugly and volatile, and you're, a lot more is being exposed over the years. But, you know, um, it's, it's a way for me to it's a fringy kind of title, and of course, yeah. that's the boobs and my t-shirt. <laughs> oh, let's look at Squeeze the t-shirt. Oh, I love it. Look and, at those hands. And my van has alien hands on the back. Squeeze, oh, my, squeeze awesome. my van. <laughs> squeeze which my I'm van. living in it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so yeah, so that's the title in it. Yeah. It was, you know, L. Ron Hubbard was a Pulp Fiction writer yeah. and sci-fi. So they do, after they indoctrinate you in Scientology, yeah. they introduce the aliens. So after I spent about... Well, I ended up spending just under a million dollars, but it was about at that three hundred thousand. Wow. I was a successful voiceover artist in Chicago. Cool. So anyway, so you I had was making, the money to burn. Well, I, I had the money to burn, but when I didn't have the money, they didn't return my phone calls, and I was degraded. I was a degraded being, as it's called. So anyway, mm. so I wrote the show, and I'm first time in Canada was um, yeah. Winnipeg, then Calgary, and then I took some time off because I'm writing about travel. Yeah, and um, and then this is my first time in Vancouver. I just bought um, parking for two weeks. It was kind of expensive. <laughs> But I figured after what Trump's doing, I might as well give back a little. Totally. So yeah, you've been you've been traveling. Yes. Because when we when we were emailing to organize this interview, you were off in the mountains somewhere. Or? Yeah, I was in Kaslo and and Nelson and well, I've been all over. And and when the smoke finally cleared, because I really didn't mm. get to see much of the ice fields, but right. I could say I was there. Um, but no, m mostly what I'm doing is finding campgrounds or Safeways or WalMarts. But I'm 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 meeting people and I'm hearing their stories. Everybody. Oh. has has wow. a story to tell and you know I was going to tell you this um which I didn't write to you um uh, sign this story of surviving Scientology is my true story people go oh, is it true yes it happened to me two almost two decades and a million dollars mm -hmm. but it's it's redemptive it has humor in it it's yeah. cathartic it's 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 you know anybody who has been through something that they couldn't leave mm -hmm. a, a job you hated or a relationship that was abusive yeah. you can't leave because of the insurance or the kids it's the same thing it's yeah. Sci Scientology doesn't have the market on on right. loss you right. know we all yeah. suffer so that's that's what I wanted to mention and theater is so transformative that way you can take something that was negative or you know yeah. I mean obviously you learn from it but you can take something that was intense right and turn it into something that that helps other people and, and share your story yeah exactly look I, I I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an artist I graduated with a degree in musical theater and and I yes I've made a lot of money doing voiceover do I make a lot of money now no um, but I still have accounts and stuff but I'm still surviving that loss but see we all go through stuff and theater is a way of expressing yourself um, and hopefully it will move someone to the point especially the young people because the Scientology loves to indoctrinate the young ones and those of mm -hmm. you uh, who have kids going off to college or even high schools, they go under different names. They go under a different, uh, the improvement center, how to, mm. how to succeed in life. So, so there it's, you have to be very careful. They're, they're very sneaky. It's good to know what to look out for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. exactly. So you've been touring the show around Canada. Wait, yes. Did you, re did you tour it around the States before? Yes. Yeah. So what's the creation process been like? It's been in the mill for a while now. Well, it was directed by my friend and 
um, amazing director, Shirley Anderson. I knew her from Chicago and um, in LA. Uh -huh. And then I uh, workshopped it in um, Chicago to see how it would work with an audience before I added sounds and mm. projection. And so then I moved it to the Hollywood Fringe and then it went to Chicago immediately for a festival. Uh -huh. And then they brought me back because it sold out. So I've, wow. uh, I've performed over 200 times um, the show, and then of course Edinburgh Fringe Festival, one pick of the Fringe right? in 2017. Yeah, you know? that's pretty exciting. But you know, they pick 150 people, but there's 3,500 shows. Yeah, so there's a lot of shows in Edinburgh. Good. Yeah, it's actually still made a big money deal. in Edinburgh. What? You're one yeah, of the very few people in the world who made money in Edinburgh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so no, I'm, I'm booked through 2019. I'm going to Australia. Um, in February and wow. and then I'm booked I'm booked I'm trying to book it hey if you know anybody in other cities and you want to book the show it's I, I carry my stuff with me and I can teach Comes somebody in the van. yeah exactly and I can teach somebody how to run the show and I could do it at a church at a community center wow. at a backroom bar um, a coffee shop yeah you've done lots of different fringes all over the world what's your favorite thing about fringe um, the people yeah. I got to tell you, um, the volunteers at the Fringe are the most amazing people because they do it for no money. Yeah. Um, I have met people I will know the rest of my life. My billets. Talk yes. about oh, that Real is friends. really, really incredible. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's it's seeing uh, the community come together for these two weeks to celebrate art. Yeah. And I love going to see other shows and tweeting about them and supporting other artists because that's what it's all about. It's mm -hmm. all a pay it forward kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. So, one thing to say to your audience to in entice them to come ah. and see Squeeze My Cans, what would you tell them? Well, I would tell you there's only 30 seats at the Arts Umbrella. <laughs> That's one. So book now. Um, yeah, come see the show. Um, follow, like, tweet. I, I do this like all of us artists do. We promote ourselves. Unless you mm -hmm. have a producer, it's all in your dime. And I want to pay the credit card off. Just so you know, because this whole thing's riding on a credit card. Oh, but yeah. it's, it's completely worth it. Mm -hmm. really is. Mm -hmm. Great. So book your seats now because the space is small. The venue is very small. The venue is yeah. very small. Yeah. And you're, what is it like playing in a smaller, have you played in a smaller venue oh, yet? Yeah. What's it, yeah. what's it, how, does it, how is it different? My, my uh, the, the most seats I want is 100 um, mm. because I'm telling a story and I go, I, you know, I break the fourth wall, but then I come back. Um, it's, 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 I'm able to see you. I'm able to see you. Mm. I'm able to um, talk to the audience and, and pull them in. I like, it's more intimate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's more personal. It's more personal and it's yeah. a real personal story. So yeah. that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. With humor and music and song and all that stuff. Awesome. Yeah. I also like to thank your audience for supporting the arts because arts, there needs to be more art and creativity in the world. That's how we survive. That's through kindness and art. That yeah. is beautiful. So thank you guys. I just thank made you that for up. being here. But I, it's true. But she means it. She means it. <laughs> of course I made do. Made it up from the heart. Squeezemycans.com. Arts umbrella. Yeah, come to, uh, yeah, check out the website. Um, if you see the van around, the give her a, van. Yeah. Give her a squeeze. Yeah. <laughs> give me, just give me a give honk. Give her a squeeze, give her a honk. Yeah. Um, thank you so much, Kathy, for thank being you. here. My name is Danielle Benson from Theater Addicts. This has been our interview regarding Squeeze My Cans at the Arts Umbrella. Mm -hmm. At the Arts Umbrella. Go check it out. There's only a couple seats, so make sure you get yours soon.